Hi, my name is Carol Dan, and I'm ecstatic to be here to talk to you about Monday.com and our journey with the platform. So I work for the NHL, and we are a professional ice hockey league, in case you haven't heard of us. We are in our playoffs right now, and I, I truly hope that you're enjoying the, the incredible competitions that are going on right now and the matchups um, that, that we've all worked so hard to produce. At the end of the playoffs, we award the, the Stanley Cup, which is the most renowned award in sports. To give you a little bit of background about the league, we've been around an awfully long time, since 1917. We have three corporate offices in New York, Montreal, and Toronto. We have over a thousand employees, and we just added a new team, the Seattle Kraken. That's our 32nd team. They're due to start playing games in 21-22. And over the 100 plus years that we've been around, we've played an awful lot of games and we've scored an awful lot of goals. So we know our way around the ice. I am Carol Dan, and I like to refer to myself as a red tape ninja. I love to get to the bottom of, of issues, of challenges, to cut through red tape and, and to get things done and produce great products. So I'd like to start with the early days of the internet and um, in my relationship with the NHL. And in order to do that, I'd have to go back about, gosh, I'm dating myself, 25 years. I was presented with a project to put NHL stats on the web. That was cutting edge and revolutionary for its time. And I was so excited to start my NHL journey with a project like that. That grew into hundreds of custom applications for all different business units, for club marketing, for legal, for finance, for HR. They said, wow, you, you've done great things for this particular area of expertise. Why can't we expand that and do more for other business units too? There are an awful lot of business units at the NHL, more than 30. And these, these business units often overlap. So as you could imagine, player safety could communicate a lot with officiating, with stats, with PR. So we are truly a cross matrix organization. We're also one team in three different time zones. And that presented a lot of challenges. Being seven hours away from my counterpart in Belarus was really challenging. We talked a lot over email, over text, and over any communication tool that we could find. We operated the best that we possibly could, but it really wasn't efficient. So we kept running into more and more challenges. We had to break down walls in our cross matrix organization. The organization is, is fairly siloed. We had to try to get people to talk to one another. We kept running into more and more roadblocks. Of course, the physical distances between the offices always was a challenge. Nobody knew what template to follow for specifications and who the heck knew what was supposed to come first and, and who was supposed to work on what. Everybody wanted the A-team to work on their project, but guess what? The A-team isn't always available. We were disrupted in all aspects of projects, meaning there were fires everywhere. There's always fires in an organization. And people were being pulled off of projects and the project managers weren't being notified, which really puts that project manager in an awkward place when they had to go back and have those conversations with the business owners. We couldn't see what was coming ahead of us, meaning the roadmap. We weren't able to prepare for the future, which was really tough and really, again, disruptive. We didn't have a standard way to communicate and our non-functional requirements and launches, nobody really knew except the, the project manager and the business owner. And sometimes they didn't even know with the developers deploying things and deploying updates without proper notification to all the people that would, that would be interested in that. With all those other challenges, there was so much noise and disruption. It was really tough to operate. What was in QA? What was on hold? What was coming next? Developers were idle, and that's not good when things are waiting. What's pending? What's going to be launched next? Nobody had the overall picture of what our 
development world was like. And that was really hard to deal with. We definitely needed a way to manage and define this development process. So fast forward about 10 or so years, we really needed to get developers into a, a good cycle and we needed some way to represent all of that and enter monday.com. This platform was unbelievably helpful to providing a way for us to promote the transparency into development efforts. So we felt that defining a development process would look sort of like this. Pending, research, planning, development. We were trying to create clarity and transparency into our world. But we came out with this process with at least these statuses of how we thought a project should be managed. And we felt pretty good about it. We used Monday originally as a just a way for project management and IT to manage sprints and development efforts. This gave us a way to collectively decide what was being worked on and when, who was working on it, who the project manager was, what the statuses were, the launch dates, even development efforts. And that was a very, very powerful thing. This created the transparency that we needed in order to maximize our development cycles and our, our, our apps and, and to get the hockey fights out of our project management meetings. Because believe me, there were some. And we also used the bar graph view to help us better understand what was being delivered to which business units so that we could tell the story to those business units of how many development cycles we were, we were giving to them every month, year, quarter, whatever. It was at our fingertips. And that was extremely powerful. After we were using monday.com for, for sprint management, I thought, this is going to make my life so much easier. I am going to use monday.com for more application development to eliminate that need for custom development. The monday.com platform allows us to quickly spin up these workflow apps in an hour versus, um, gosh, uh, weeks, months, years sometimes. People were coming to me and finding out about the platform and asking me, can I use this to manage other projects? And I thought, well, sure, we want to maximize our, our ROI of our license fees. We, we definitely want to spread the love. Let's start using monday.com for more than just sprint management and, and IT efforts. And that really opened a, opened a huge door in, in my work, my day-to-day -day work. Because now it's, it's not so much uh, following that standard development cycle for, for many applications. It's building them myself or giving the user the power to build those in the monday.com platform. It makes life so much easier. So research, do a little bit of research, find out what the user wants to use Monday for. Development, it's, it's really configuration, it's not really development in, in Monday. And then you're done. But you're really not, you don't have to be done, actually, if you don't want to. If you find something that, that's not quite right, you change it, you delete it, you add another column, you put in an automation to make things easier. You never have to stop getting better. So one of the first applications that, that we moved over to monday.com instead of doing a custom development site was the managing of Stanley Cup requests. This was actually in a legacy system that on a platform that we're, we're attempting to sunset. It was a perfect opportunity to increase Monday's ROI license fees and to transition it to a platform that we did not need to maintain anymore. We used SurveyMonkey to gather the requests from people on a standard interface. And we used an integration with Monday to create an item 
every time a survey monkey request was put in and that was that was incredible that was really powerful we did all this in i would say under way under a day where it would have taken a custom developer more than i would say that the whole cycle would be more than a month maybe two so this in itself was revolutionary in in how we were looking at workflow applications so the stanley cup is a personality and it needs a chaperone those chaperones are called cup keepers and the cup keepers avoid things that have happened in the past to the stanley cup like it being lost or or being found in a gutter somewhere the the cup keeper is assigned to a particular request and escorts the stanley cup to the particular event or the the visit that it's making so we have built a, a new Monday board for every cupkeeper. And when the cupkeeper is assigned to the particular request, the item is mirrored on their board. So they are able to keep track of where the cup needs to be and when. And they don't get to see other people's requests. This is, was incredibly helpful and it's using some advanced functionality of Monday. Another project that is using Monday.com at the NHL is fan engagement. These folks care a lot about what the fans do, what they're exposed to, what kinds of programs they're running. They want to make sure that things don't overlap and that it's equally distributed. So they're using the, both the calendar and chart views heavily in addition to all the transparency that, that they're gaining by using Monday they have about 20 folks that are are um, subscribed to these boards so at a glance in real time everyone can can quickly see exactly what's going on in this in this vertical at any time another group that's using monday.com is our club business and analytics group so these folks deal a lot with all 32 clubs. And they deal with many people in those clubs too. So as you can imagine, that, that's, that could be hundreds of people that they have to communicate with and they have to keep up to date for our CFO or reporting to our CFO. And there's a few people in that group that, that need to be able to report to him real time. If he calls, you need to pick it up. If the CFO is contacting you, he's, he's got a, a very targeted question and you need to be able to answer that. And monday.com offered them the capabilities of answering those questions in real time. They also use monday.com and automated notifications to alert them to things that say are overdue or that are the due date is coming up so that they can get on top of things and ahead of them and be proactive instead of reactive. So using monday.com has even for just one application, say the Stanley Cup requests, that would have taken us a month, maybe probably more to develop that internally and to develop, develop that as a custom application. Going through the, the specking process, the wireframing, initial stages of development, going back and forth with the, with the business to, to make sure that they have what they need. And then going through QA and finally deployment. But then what if it's not quite right? We have to start over again. Using Monday, it makes it so much easier. And it's incredible how much time it, it saves for applications like that. In closing, each of these applications would have been developed as a custom application. And using monday.com has saved us an inordinate amount of time. 
development cycles, wireframing, QA, spinning up servers, all of that was eliminated by using the monday.com platform and getting more ROI out of our licensing. I hope that, that you found this, this presentation helpful. It's really been my pleasure. Thank you. Thank you.